It's like Albert Einstein said, the future of medicine is frequency, right? At one point I was so sick and tired of being sick and tired and I was like, why don't I just manifest my healing? And so after trying so many things that my doctor had put me on, which made everything worse for me, I started to tap in my own power, which is manifestation and which is what I talk all about on this channel. Right? Hello my loves, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about something that is so dear to my heart and I know it's not the usual type of videos that I make but if I can just help one person with this my day is going to be made and that is how I naturally healed my autoimmune disease. So I'm so. going to share everything in detail with you so keep on watching. If you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell right next to it and leave me a comment down below because it helps the algorithm a lot. On to how I healed my autoimmune disease. So in 2020, was it 20? Yeah. In 2020, I was, end of 2020, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune a disease of the thyroid uh, called Hashimoto's. And I was basically told that I would have to take meds for the rest of my life, that there is no way to reverse the condition, right? It's something that you have for a life. Um, and that I also probably would struggle with. It would be at an increased risk for breast C-A-N-C-E-R. I'm not going to say the word because I'm talking about the subject I've been shadow banned on Instagram. So uh, that's a whole other topic. There is a huge agenda obviously to keep natural healing information hidden from the masses but um anyway i was also told i would be at a very high risk of miscarriages and that i would not be able to get pregnant so all those things were a huge shock for me i was just i was 30 when i got diagnosed supposed to be in my prime years right now mind you i've never been allergic to uh, any meds at all and so we tried different ones over the months right every time you have to uh, wait a month to see how your body reacts and I would get like crazy itching everywhere my body was covered my legs were covered in bruises that's how much I was like scratching myself and I was losing hair my face started to get bloated I was gaining weight um, like all of these things happened and I just the meds no matter what we tried we tried all of them none of them worked so now in hindsight i believe that this was really the universe's way of getting me to actually healing the disease properly because we can reverse anything that's why i'm so passionate about healing and health because so many people these days struggle with some type of condition and autoimmune is on the rise so what can we do what are our options it first for me started with understanding why I had this disease. So prior to this, the symptoms showing up, 2018, it was like one of the most stressful uh, years of my life. My career was at an all time peak, uh, but I also had a lot of um, stress going on personally. I lost three family members in a span of like six weeks. I was just so like my adrenals were so depleted because of all the stress. I had a break-in in my home, like there was just so much stress and I believe that's what initially like triggered the disease. Uh, then there's also issues in my house with mold, which we all know mold is like, some people react to it very badly, some people don't react to it at all, um, but I know that that was like a factor in my home that probably really didn't help with the disease. Another thing uh, that is really important to get tested is for the MTHFR gene. So 30% of people have it. And what does it mean? It means that your methylation process, your detox process in the body is impaired. You don't detox the same way other people do. So you need actually to support your body with uh, detoxing methods. I do have that gene mutation. So my body doesn't really detox the way other uh, bodies do. Um, so supporting your natural detox pathways is really important for people who have that gene mutation. Now, there are so many theories out there as to why autoimmune disease happens. The one that resonated the most with me as the truth, and that's truly what I believe it is, is um, the relation between Hashimoto's and EBV. 95% of people have this virus, some people it's dormant, but what's what can happen is the virus can 
What can happen is the virus can actually attack your thyroid and go deep into the tissue of your thyroid. It attacks your nerves, it can attack your organs, right? The theory of your immune system being confused and attacking itself was always a little bit out there for me because to me our bodies are so intelligent. Why would my body be confused and attack itself? Like, it just didn't really make sense to me. And so when I dug deeper, it makes a lot of sense that your body's not actually attacking the thyroid, but it's attacking the virus that is in the thyroid. Knowing what I know, doing what I do, at one point I was so sick and tired of being sick and tired, and I was like, why don't I just manifest my healing? I'm just going to manifest my healing. And so after trying so many things that my doctor had put me on, my doctors had also put me on a high protein, high fat diet, which made everything worse for me. Maybe this may work for others, but for me, it just made everything worse. So I started to tap in my own power, which is manifestation, and which is what I talk all about on this channel, right? And I just started manifesting that I was healed. I was telling myself constantly, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. And from that, I came across a technology that just like magically almost appeared into my lap. And this is Rife Therapy. So I was very skeptical at first about Rife Therapy, um, but now I am such, I am so blown away by this technology that I wanna share it from the top of my roof to the entire world because if one life or more can be saved through Rife Therapy, it doesn't just help with autoimmune, it helps with any condition that you have. <sighs> People need to know this stuff. So I came across Rife Therapy, got the machine. Um, it's a about a thousand dollar investment, but actually, if you if you think at how expensive it is to actually be be ill and do all the medical testing and go through all the tests and buy all the supplements, a thousand dollars go away like that when you are sick. And once you invest into this technology, you have it for life. And I'm not being sponsored to share this at all. This is just how passionate I am about this technology because I've seen how much it changes my life. So what, what in the heck is Rife Therapy? Um, also, before I share this, I wanna share that I tried all the, the diet route, the supplement route. First of all, I was so restricted in my diet that I was not having fun anymore. Like I, there's nothing that I could eat. And I was like, this is not who I want to be. Like, wherever I go, I can't eat anything. Um, and this is not how I want to live my life. And then second, I tried the supplements. And I think supplements do help, but they didn't cure anything for me. They did help, of course, but they didn't cure anything. One supplement that I highly, highly stand by is Lorcidin. Uh, is that, actually, it's Monolaurin, but the brand, the original brand is called Lorcidin. That, oh my God, taking that, I believe has reduced the viral load in my body significantly. At first when I, taking, when I was taking it, I started getting insane Herxheimer reactions, right? Um, but after a while, I don't get any reactions to it anymore. And even with the C word, the C-O-V, blah, blah, blah. If you have any symptoms of any viral condition, you just take that and the next day you're good. It's the best thing in the world and it has definitely helped with my remission. And then um, taking zeolite capsules because zeolite helps to reduce the heavy metals in your body. Um, again, I'm gonna link down below which ones I take and I do take these, per I do it like once a year, I would say. I take these for like a, for a few weeks and it really helps to reduce the um, metal toxicity in the body so those were the supplements that really changed uh everything for me and then going back to the technology when i started to really decide to manifest my healing that's when i came across the technology and they have so many programs out there they have programs for again c-a-n-c-e-r they have i would say easily thousands and thousands of programs for any condition, any autoimmune conditions, um, any endocrine stuff, even um, spiritual stuff, spinal stuff, tendonitis, like all, every single condition that you can think of under the sun, there's a frequency for it. And so the way it works is everything in the universe is frequency. Bacteria, viruses, 
parasites, they all vibrate at a certain frequency. And why is it called Rife therapy? Because Dr. Raymond Rife in the 1920s has discovered that if you apply a certain frequency to a bacteria, it will kill the bacteria without killing any other healthy cells. So that's basically how Rife therapy works. You put the frequency that um, destroys the invader onto in in like you put that on your DNA and the healing happens through entrainment so if you think about tuning forks right you strike a tuning fork you put another tuning fork next to it through entrainment and vibration that other tuning fork fork starts to vibrate at the same resonance than the first one that is the law those are just universal laws of entrainment frequency entrainment and the law of resonance our bodies are made of frequencies and so i started to use the it's called the generator x and all my symptoms are going away i'm having a clarity of mind that i've never had before if you have hashimoto's you know the brain fog can be so um so intense dr royal raymond rife he experimented with people and did um, weekly treatments for CANCER patients in the 1920s and almost all of them went into I think all of them went into remission um, and it makes me really emotional because a year ago I lost my stepdad to cancer that was when I just received the technology and he didn't want to try it because he was very skeptical and he passed away and his stage was very very advanced and I don't know if he could have been saved but it could have been worth a try. And so that's why I have so much passion about this because if one life can be saved, you're not, you know, by trying this, you're not risking anything and you actually have, you have nothing to lose and you have everything to gain. The fact that this treatment is not more accessible worldwide is, just shows us how, like that there's actually an agenda to push this down and I actually have a video I'm going to link it right here with the founder of the company um, who shares about also sort of what he went through with the company and how he had to go live in a different country because they tried to shut him down so many times so there is a real spiritual war that's going on of light versus dark if you look at it from a very zoomed out perspective I just want you to know that healing is possible I went, I went from feeling so tired, having so much brain fog, having pain everywhere in my body, having my hair fall out and just not feeling like myself. I was so, I was just not myself at all. Healing is absolutely possible. Don't let any doctor tell you that you cannot have children, that you cannot, you know, that this is like a death sentence or that you will have this for the rest of your life. But yeah, that is basically everything I did. And then one last thing is homeopathy because I've known about homeopathy for my entire life. My grandmother used to give it to me all the time when I was sick. Um, but it was only recently that I rediscovered um, homeopathy and actually what it does to... Homeopathy basically corrects vibrational imbalances in your body and it's fascinating to me, but it's absolutely something worth looking into um, because what it does to the body is just amazing. It corrects the... It, again, it works with frequency just like the Rife therapy does and it's like Albert Einstein said the future of medicine is frequency, right? So I'm gonna have to go now because my battery is dying, but I hope this video was helpful to you guys Remission is completely possible. There is hope and don't let anybody tell you otherwise There are so many solutions and you can always manifest your healing You'll be surprised at the doors that open up for you. I love you guys so so much and I'll talk to you soon